Hey guys, good morning. Hey, I just picked up four boxes of this Federal Punch. This is 38 Special Plus P, 120 grain uh, jacketed hollow point. So we're going to put this to the test today. And what we're going to do is we're going to check velocity. And we are also going to check expansion. Check it out. I just bought me a brick of uh, ballistic gel. Never used this stuff before, so I'm kind of anxious to put a few rounds into it. But right now, let's go back into my shop. We'll take a close look at this. We'll take a look at the guns we're going to shoot today, and then we'll get back out here and, and get started. All right, so before we actually take a look at the ammo, let's take a quick look at the box. We got 38 Special Plus P, Personal Defense Ammo, 120 grain jacket and hollow point. And let's see here. Muzzle velocity, 1,000 feet per second. Energy, 266 foot-pounds. I can't test that, but uh, I'll take their word for it. So let's uh, pop this open and take a look. All right, take a, a look here. Guess I don't need two of them, huh? Oh, look at that. That is a nice looking hollow point bullet. Boy, that ought to open up nice and wide. All right, let's uh, take a look at the guns we're going to shoot today. Okay, so I'm going to shoot three guns today. Gun number one. Smith & Wesson Model 60, chambered in 357 Magnum. Love this little guy right here. Barrel length on this is 2 and 1 8 inches. So, nice little snub nose revolver. Second gun is a Ruger GP100, 357 Magnum. This one has a 4 and 1 8 inch barrel. And if for some reason the rounds won't expand coming out of these two revolvers, I have... A Marlin 357 Magnum. Look at this beauty, huh? Yeah, this is one of my favorite rifles right here. All right, so let's get out to the range and see what happens. We're going to start off checking velocity. I'm going to fire three rounds through my Model 60 and then three rounds through my uh, GP100. Nine twenty-seven. Nine thirty-five. Nine forty-three. Tell you what, I was really expecting a lot less than that. And this does have a little bit of kick to it, a little recoil, which I like. So let's try the 4 inch. 1085. 1058. 1081. Let's put a couple rounds through that rifle just for the heck of it. Hopefully muzzle blast isn't going to be a problem at this short distance, but I guess we'll find out. 1464. 1426. That's pretty impressive. Ah, right, you know what? Let's check expansion. Okay, so because I've never shot this stuff before, I'm just going to fire one round out of both my revolvers, and then we'll go down and check it out. Smith & Wesson.
All right, let's go take a look. All right, wow, look at that, huh? That's pretty cool. So here was the uh, the Model 60 right here. It actually went further than the uh, four inch Ruger. Now this is a 16 inch block, so this went 13 inches. This looks like it went about 12 inches. And we'll dig those out later, but they look like they mushroomed pretty good. So let's fire a couple more and then we'll uh, try the rifle. That rifle will probably go all the way through though. All right, you know what? I'm gonna fire two more rounds with the Model 60. And then we'll put a couple rounds through the rifle. And then we'll dig these bullets out later. All right, let me grab that rifle. All right, two rounds with the rifle. Yeah, let's go check it out. All right, so look at this. Here's a rifle round right here. Man, it just disintegrated right here. Got some little pieces here. And it looks like maybe a small piece came out the back, but man, that just blew up. This other one, got some pieces back here and more pieces. And look at this, the slug stopped about a quarter inch from coming out. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I'll tell you what, really happy with that expansion from those revolvers. So let's uh, cut these out and take a look at them. Hey, you know what? It's just too hot out here to cut this block open. So I'm going to take it home, and then we'll cut these slugs out. But in the meantime, I think I will just put some rounds through my uh, Smith & Wesson at about five to seven yards. Yeah, look how soft that's getting. Ooh, starting to melt onto the table. Forgot my speed loader. I'll be right back. Tell you what, let's go back to my shop and cut those slugs out of that block. Okay, now before I cut this block open, I want to I want to go over something real quick. The FBI has done extensive testing on handgun ammunition and three of the things they look at is expansion. They also look at uh, penetration and also bullet weight retention. Let me back this up a little bit. Now this round right here came out of the Ruger GP100. These two rounds here plus this one right here came out of the uh, uh, Model 60. So these actually traveled a little further than uh, the 4 inch. So, and it looks like they retained a lot of weight because there's not, not a lot of pieces back behind them. And they did mushroom pretty good. But let's go ahead and measure these because the FBI says a bullet should travel 12 to 18 inches to be effective. And as you can see, that round out of the Ruger was about 11 three quarter inches. Now that's really not a fair comparison because I only fired one round, but it is what it is. Those other two further down we had 12 and 3 quarter and 13 inches and this one here was just over 12 inches so 
All three rounds out of the Model 60 2 inch barrel hit 12 inches or more, well between 12 and 13 inches and the GP100 was a little bit short but again that was not a fair comparison. I should have fired another two or three rounds just to get an average but and of course the rifle round down here uh, traveled 15 and 3 quarter inches so you know what let's cut this open and see what these bullets look like okay so I raided a knife from my wife's kitchen so hopefully she won't watch this video in fact I can almost guarantee you she won't watch it but anyways uh, I've never used this stuff before so this is kind of a, a learning experience but I think what I'm gonna do is probably cut this right here and hopefully this is gonna work And this is almost like skinning a deer. <laughs> okay, let's get this out of the way. Let's see what we got here. Like I said, I'm kind of new at this, so. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that. Ooh, doggy. Now, let's see. I believe that's the one that was... Yeah, that was fired out of the Ruger. Man, look at that. That is pretty cool, huh? All right, let's get these others out of here. All right. All right. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's really nice. And that came out of a two-inch barrel. Four-inch right here, two-inch right here. Tell you what, pretty consistent there, huh? Yeah. Boy, tell you what, that mushroomed really good. It held together. Now, let me show you something here. Let's see, where is it at? Okay, so here is a unfired bullet. And compared to, obviously, a fired bullet. Let's do this like this right here. You can see how much that expanded. I'll use a caliper on this and measure it a little better. But we went from this to this. Okay, that was the round fired out of the rifle. All right, you know what? Let's weigh these bullets real quick. Here's the unfired bullet. Should be about 120 grains. Okay, 119.7. I'll take that. Here's the one fired from the uh, GP100. So it didn't lose hardly any weight. And here's a Model 60, 119.8. So you know what? None of these bullets really lost any weight to them, which is very, very good. This one may have lost just a little bit. And one more here. And let's measure the one that was fired from the rifle. 
Wow, look at that. So from roughly 118 grains down to 82, so it lost quite a bit. Okay, let's check expansion. Unfired bullet should be 0.357. right there and let's see what we got here Ooh, look at that 54 caliber almost 55 caliber that's pretty good fifty five caliber one more here And let's see here. Uh, about 53 caliber. So I'll tell you what, pretty consistent. So would I uh, would I recommend carrying these in a uh, two inch snub nose revolver? Oh, absolutely. I mean, they mushroomed really good, and uh, velocity was impressive. Expansion, penetration. Yep, I would definitely say. Uh, Get some of these if you find them. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video, and uh, we'll see you next time, huh?